second smart coffee. It's gone high tech at Clatch in San Francisco, and this is Heather. So this is a, a new technology here. This is. This here is the pour study. So while before you'd go into a cafe, order a pour over, and the barista would use their kettle and gently pour, this takes care of it for us. At the push of a button, it starts. Okay, nice. So instead of a, a regular person doing it, it's all automated now. Correct. So we still dial everything in to make sure it tastes delicious, but now this duplicates our recipes for us. Okay, before you show me how it's done, so your family goes back uh, for a long time here. 25 years we've been in business, and we all still work together. So it's my dad, my sister, my brother-in-law, and ourselves. We all do the retail, the wholesale, our hands are in everything. I said smart coffee, but your dad was like a, a chemical engineer? Yeah, he has his degree in chemical engineering, and he uses that every day at work in roasting. All right, so the coffee uh, you have, it's all over Southern California. This is the yeah. first one in San Francisco for yeah. us to enjoy We're it this so way. We're so excited to be here and to bring the pour steady to the city as well. Okay, so is the pour uh, steady way or the pour over a better way to enjoy the coffee? It's not a better way, it's just a different way. It gives you more opportunities to offer more coffees to make sure your coffee's always fresh. You don't have to worry about dumping batches or anything. So it really just allows you to drink more coffee. All right, let me drink some more coffee right now and show me how this is done. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so we've got our coffee weighed out here. We're just going to dump it in our grinder. So what you're going to do is just go ahead and hit that button right there for me. Okay. So how, how fine is that for the grinding? So we always say like the coarsest of sand, give or take. It really depends on exactly how much coffee you're using in your recipe, but you want to kind of go for that. Really the key is make sure you're fresh grinding. I always tell people no matter what you're doing, invest in the grinder. Okay, go for it. All right, so now we're going to dump that right in here. Oh, fresh. So now what we're going to do, you can smell that exactly. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit this button again. Go ahead and start it for us. Brew us a cup of coffee. All right. Okay, so this is what we call the blue. So we add a little bit of water, and what you should see is you can do this at home. If you want to know if your coffee is fresh, add just some hot water, and if it rises up, your coffee is fresh. If it, like, falls flat, throw it out and buy some new coffee. All right, and what's the temperature, too? 202 degrees. You want to make sure your water is hot enough. Most home brewers don't get hot enough. Okay, and this, is, this machine is pretty rare. Yes, it is. There's not a ton of them in this U.S., much less, I think this is the first in the city. And it's not so much that it's quicker either. either. No, I mean, a cup of coffee takes what a cup of coffee takes. If you want something faster, you switch to espresso. But for a cup of coffee, <laughs> you're looking at about three minutes. All right, I think I'm ready to try it. Okay, I've got one ready for you right here. Freshly brewed. Oh, that looks so good. Yes. All right, that's what you really call farm to cup. Do you have one for you to I enjoy sure too? Do. All right, Heather Clatch in San Francisco. We love you here. Thanks for having Cheers. me here. Cheers. Thank you very much.